In this video, I'm going to talk about JSON, uh, or it's called as JSON or JSON or whatever you call it. Uh, now, what is JSON? JSON is basically a JavaScript object notation. It's a data representation format through which you can transport the data from one system to another. Okay, uh, it, 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 it has its own extension .json, uh, and then you can use that for an APIs and configuration files as well. Okay, it's mainly used for APIs and configs. It is lightweight. It is easy to read and write. The competitors are or YAML or XML format, or there can be any other format as well. But I'd say uh, YAML and XML are its competitor. Uh, JSON is super set of JavaScript. So any JavaScript you write, uh, you can call it to be uh, a, a compatible with that JSON format okay so i'd say any json you write is a valid javascript okay uh, it integrates easily with the most language and it has got a file with an extension of json okay dot json now what are the different data types it has it has a string data type it has a number it's boolean data type null arrays and object uh, i'll demonstrate this in your live example uh, so we can go walk you through that JSON has its uh, like an own method uh, within JavaScript to uh, to deal with some sort of conversion. Okay, so there are two methods basically JSON dot stringify and JSON dot parse. So what stringify does is it converts the JavaScript object to string. Okay, as the name indicates, stringify. So any JavaScript object you convert that into string, provided that JavaScript object is in a JSON representable way. Okay. Uh, json.parse is basically converting a text to a javascript object okay right now json tools now uh, uh, what are the different uh, functions which the tools does okay so there are a couple of like i just listed like three different uh, url now i'm not promoting this url at all but i'm just found it very useful and easy to use so uh, i'll just show you these three different examples uh, of the url now what this three url will allow you to do it will allow you to view the json because sometimes json can be very tricky to view uh, as the data size grows you can format the json you can download the json you can load json data from a url you can validate the json you can view the json graph fix the json minify the json or convert json to yaml now this will be required for many cases if you want to use some sort of a pipeline so this will be a very useful tool okay so let me uh, open vs code to first show you uh, how does the json looks like okay so let me open a new file okay and then let me select languages json and this is the json file now this file is a valid json file okay if i put abc this is a valid json file right now bare minimum what you need to have is a curly braces okay and then you put some value to it okay now it's a key value pair or a name value pair let me say if i put name is Irish, okay now this is a valid JSON file. So what we have done is we have opened and closed the curly braces and then put a name value pair. Now remember this name uh, should always be in double quotes. Okay, this is the key parameter and this is the value. Now, this is one example of a JSON file. Another example I would say is say age. Okay, so if you want to show the age, and if I want to show a numerical format, I can put like this 34 or maybe 34.4. This is a valid JSON. Okay. Now, if I put a double quote over here, then this is a valid JSON as well. But this will take the value as in a string format. Okay. But I wanted to show you, say, a number format. Okay. Now, other thing, what we can do is we can say uh, some feed. Okay. Some which is in a boolean format now the boolean is usually represented in the form of say true or false okay so it's true or maybe it's false okay now again this is a boolean format so we have seen string we have seen numeric and this is the boolean format or maybe some value can be null as well okay 
So this can be also one of the format. For array representation, uh, I will show you a ready-made example which I have already created here. Now see this example. Now we have seen string, we have seen numeric, we have seen boolean. Now here I can put an array as well. Okay, so just focus on this component over here. So certifications and then I have PMP, TOGAF and CSM. Now this is in an array format which is a string of array. Okay. Now this is also one of the objects. So this is one of the object which has string as this element. Okay. So here uh, in the example which we were working on, let me put this here. I can put uh, say a um, b comma c. Okay. Oh sorry. So this is a valid JSON format, okay, with regards to this. Now, let me do an, another thing. Let me show you, say, if, if I hold a, say, maybe a car, okay, so if I have a car and I have two different types of car, I can put it in an array here, and then that array can be uh, of some type, okay. so. Let me say it's of type, uh, say, BMW, okay? And this BMW can again oh, have its own object, okay? It can have its own object, and this object can be of any other type, okay? So I'm going to make it more complicated now. Now, as you've seen in this example over here, it says I have a car which is of type array, within that array i have an another json okay now this is an another json now here i have a car over here and then it has its own json format okay now this json format can be further i'll just copy this content from here just to show you the complexity which we can uh, go through you know now this is like one of the element okay this is one of the element which is named beam oh, sorry i'll just remove this part here yep so this is one of the element and one of the element has two different items in it name cylinders name cylinders okay so again we can create any complex data type within json as well okay now Oh, let me see if I have some big example. Okay, so this is also one of the example which I've taken from some website, I believe W3 Schools, I believe. Let me take this example now. Now here in this example, I'm going to go into one of the tools. Okay, here. The first tool is jsonweaver.stack.hue. Okay, I'll paste this JSON. Okay, now what you can do is so let's take for example if your JSON is say let's say it's not in a good format, it's some some random format. Okay, you can uh, do one thing, you can format it properly. So the moment I click on format, it will align it correctly. Okay, you can remove the white space if you don't want. Okay, now see this version of JSON is called as a minified version. Okay, so we can. I'll just copy this minified version okay you can remove the white space you can format it correctly you can clear this record okay and you can do a copy paste okay now let me paste this again format it correctly and go to the viewer and see i can see it in a nicer way see i have employees i have an employee zero id employee is this one id employee is this and two id employees is this so this is how you can play with this json viewer or stack you that is in another website which is json formatter okay now let me uh, show you something now it has its own sample json data i can click on sample and then uh, i have picked the value from this particular website uh, so here i've got a sample what i can do i can uh, format this json okay so if i have so if i let me tamper this format a bit okay like this stamp with this format and if i click on format json i can see the formatted json over here i can download the json as well and if i click here on json weaver 
I can view this JSON in a different format. Okay, I can uh, align it. Okay, I can collapse it. I can expand it. I can filter it. I can put some my own query and I can do a whole bunch of things. I can view the code. I can view the tree format. So this is the tree format, which I have see over here. And, and you can do a whole bunch of things more with this. Okay, so here you can save the JSON. You can validate the JSON. We can see whether this JSON is validated or not. It's a valid JSON. You can see the output over here. Now there is an, another tool called as code beautify. Okay, so if I paste this JSON over here, um, I can pick up its own sample. Now this is a sample of code beautify. Okay, uh, I can click on tree viewer. Okay, so if I click on tree viewer, what happens? It will uh, it will show you the output in this form over here, okay, in the tree view. Now here I have two spaces, two tab space. If I want to enlarge it, I want to put eight tab space, see the output, eight tab spaces. If I want four tab spaces, I can do that. I can beautify it, you know, I can beautify it. If I don't want this kind of thing, I have a lot of spaces over here, I want to minify it, I can minify this version. See, once you minify it, it will show you this way. I can even, convert this json to a csv i can fix the json if say some json is broken you know i can go ahead and fix it you know if i have a broken json uh, say if i have the sample and if it is say somewhere here i can go ahead and fix the json and then it will uh, give me the right output okay it will put this uh, missing square bracket so this is also a useful uh, tool to work on okay so like this, you can go ahead and explore all the various tools. These are just some of the tools which I have listed. Uh, you can find a lot of other tools in the internet as well. So you can play around with this. Now, there is an, another useful thing called as JSON graph. If you want to see this information in the form of a graph, you can see this. So if you have an employees, navigate, go to employee, see this first element, which has ID, first name, last name, See the first name that is Maria, last name, and then the photo URL, and like this you can you know like expand all the uh, components. Okay, so you can say expand all, or you can say collapse all. So expand all, and you see this interface, and you can sort it as well. Okay, so if you want to sort it by some say field, you can even do that. Okay. So that's how you uh, basically play around with all this JSON component. Oh, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, that's it about JSON.